Welcome back to the channel guys for another install on our 2022 WRX. Today we're going to be working on this fourth brake light right here. So let's go to the workbench and I'll show you what we're putting on. What we have here on the table is the Subi Bros rear fog light kit with their plug and play harness for the 22 Rex. So you can see this just, um, this just unplugs tail light, this plugs into it. And then this is our connector for it's so like this is probably the wire that's gonna plug into the back of here, into there. Got a couple hardware, got a little bracket, and then I do have uh, just a little piece of tint that I have laying around. So once I'm done with everything, I'm just gonna tint the front of this. But this is the style that I got. So I think that's gonna look real nice at the bottom, especially when it's tinted, it's gonna look basically just like these. So let's get right to the install. But before we get to the install, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more 2022 WRX videos. We're also doing a 1200 subscriber giveaway on a Billetworks uh, shifter plate. So stay tuned for more 2022 WRX videos, but let's get right back to this install. All right, so first thing we have to do is take the rear cover off. So to do that, we have these four clips. One, two, three, and four. So take all four of those off so we can gain access to the back. So let's start with that. All right, now since we're underneath the car, we do need to gain access back here. So there are two little clips on the bottom of this that we just need to pop out. Let me see, see if I can do it with you guys here. Um, there we go. So you can see the two little holes right there where I was trying to push out. So just push those up and it should pop out. Let's see where, here it is. All right, let's move on to the next step. So this is what it should look like now. So we have one hole right there, another hole up there. So this one right here, we get the, we're gonna use one of these and we're just going to slide that on. The next step, you need to grab your little bracket. We're gonna slide this in behind. Make sure these tabs are on the outside of this plastic so this bracket's gonna go on the other side of this, on both sides. So let's get that fished out. So the bracket is in, so you can see that it's on the outside of the plastic on both sides, and these little brackets are just like flush. So next step is to actually put the rear fog in. So let me go grab that and let's get it put in. So we got the new fog. We have these two mounting holes right there. So make sure you grab your two 10 mils. Just put those to the side to fish the wire down under. And we'll just slide the fog in. All right, let's go underneath and let's put these two 10 mils in. So you can see back there, we got the everything mounted. So let's get those two screws put in. One started. The next one. And with those two in right there that you can see, we actually have one more on the side we have to put in on that little like, bracket we put on in the beginning. Let's get that one on. The other side, take the supplied pop clip and let's get that put in. There you go, see a nice solid pop. Let's check out to see what it looks like. Here we go. So it looks pretty good right now. Obviously we gotta take that off. Take that off and then we'll uh, tighten the three 10 mils underneath. So let's go underneath and tighten those up. Everything tightened underneath. Time to pop the trunk. We need to get this plastic piece off. So get a pry tool and a Phillips. So let's first let's take this little clip off be able to come right out. I'm 
And then get your pry tool and let's pop this thing off. There we go. Next we have are these two 10 mil bolts. this connector here so let's get this connector off all right with the tail lamp off just set that aside let's grab our plug and play harness that subi bros supplied and see if it works all right so let me get plugged right in you know let's let's get a little test let me uh let me grab the harness and let me just like run it uh straight to the ground and plug it in all right, so we got the, the wire plugged in right here to the plug and play harness. I have the tail lamp plugged back in. I don't know if it needs to be plugged in, but I have that plugged back in. And this is just, let me just plug right in. So let's get a first test real quick. Dang, well that looks so good. So let's get this wire tucked back in i just unplugged it but we're just gonna run it down there tuck it up away then we'll they gave us some zip ties over here it's got a couple zip ties so once we get it plugged in and tucked away nicely we'll get it zip tied up somewhere to keep it safe so we got the wire ran down i think we're gonna put my first zip tie right here and that is so we can hold this harness in place for the tail light. So I'll show you that in just a second. So this thing was just flopping around. So I just got it, just don't need to get it tight, just snug it, just so it's just easy to plug in and out there. Plus it holds this up a little bit. So let's get the tail light plugged right back in. Oh, let me get that cut real quick. Almost forgot. All right. Plug right back in. Just trying to get the wires tucked up nicely. Right. Slip this bracket on there. Let's get a one clip. All right. Now with the tail lamp put back in, we just got this one little wire here. So let's look. So that's just gonna plug right into here. Come on. Go. All right, and then next we're just gonna tuck this wire up and we're just gonna zip tie it to this bar right here. With the wire secured out of the way, we just have these one, two, three, and four clips to put back in and then we're all done with this install. We'll check out what it looks like in just a sec. Last thing to do. Dang, look at that looks so good especially with that black diffuser on the bottom i know it's hard to see this diffuser that we installed in the last video on camera but in person i mean it's very obvious that it's there it's that same on the front a little flake in it looks really nice so last thing we're going to do i'm just going to tint this off camera because not really part of this install video they do make tints for this i just didn't feel like spending 10 bucks on a piece of tint. So I have some tint laying around. I'm just gonna put on there, trace it out, and then just stick it on. And then we're gonna do some tests. So I think right now it has the strobe effect on. We are gonna change that because I do not want the strobe. We're just gonna get the regular solid when you step on the brake. So let's get to that. 
with everything reinstalled, I did get this tip put on as you can see there. Let's get it started up and we'll go through what it looks like. Alright, so that's going to conclude our video on our fourth brake light here. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more 2022 WRX content. Let's get it.